So now let's talk about the access arguments and functions in the NumPy package. So as you can see, we have imported NumPy as NP and also we have created a two-dimensional array. So now suppose that we want to calculate the summation of all these values. So in order to do so, we simply type NP, which is the NumPy package, and then I simply use the sum function and I want to calculate the summation of x which is our array and I want to store the results in a variable let's say called result and I want to print the results variable so if I run a code you can see here is the output which is the summation of all these values but now let's talk about how we can calculate for example the summation of each row in order to do these stuff we should use an argument called axis and because we have a and because here in this example in this specific example we have a two-dimensional array so we have two possible choices for axis. The first one is 0 and the second one is 1. And remember that in a two-dimensional array, which is a matrix, axis equals to 0 means along the rows and axis equals to 1 means along the columns. So, for example, axis equals to 1 means along the columns. So, for example, you can see that this is the first column column 2 and column 3 and we want to calculate the summation along different columns so column 1 column 2 and column 3 and we want to add these values which for example in this case it returns for example 6 and also we want to add the values along the columns for this one which gives us 180 and also we want to calculate the summation of these values along different columns you can see column 1 column 2 and column 3 which returns 1 so as a matter of fact axis equals to 1 means we want to calculate the summation along the columns along different columns so now if i run a code you can see these are the values which for example this is the summation of the first row along different columns i mean and this is the summation of the second row along different columns and this is the summation of the third row along different columns but now let's talk about axis equals to zero so axis equals to zero means along the rows so for example for this first column the summation of the values along different rows is equal to 51 and for this second column, for this second column, the summation along different rows is 63. And also for this column, the summation along different rows is 73. So now if I run the code, you can see here is the output, which this one is the summation of the first column along different rows. And this is the summation of the second column along different rows. And this is the summation of the third column along different rows. So here is the summary. Remember that axis equals to zero for a two-dimensional array, I mean for a matrix, means along the rows. And axis equals to one means along the columns. But now let's talk about a three-dimensional array and how to interpret different axes value. So remember that because we have a three-dimensional array, there are three possible values for the axis argument. Those are 0, 1, and 2. But now let's talk about axis equals to 0. So axis equals to 0 means along different matrices. Because if you remember from previous parts, we have said that as a matter of fact, a three-dimensional array is basically a bunch of matrices so you can see this is matrix one and this is matrix two so as a matter of fact a three-dimensional array is basically a bunch of matrices and here the summation of x along different matrices means that for example zero from the first matrix plus four from the second matrix is equal to four this is the result and one from the first matrix plus five from the second matrix is six and etc but axis equals to one means along different rows in each matrix so for example in this specific matrix if you want to do the summation along different rows you can see zero from the first row plus two from the second row is two and also one from the first row plus three from the second row 
is 4. So these are the values for the first matrix. But let's talk about the second matrix. The summation of 4 from the first row plus 6 from the second row is 10, and also 5 from the first row plus 7 from the second row is 12. And these values are for the second matrix. So the summation of x along axis equals to 1 means along different rows in each matrix. And axis equals to 2 means along different columns in each matrix. So we can see the summation of the values in this matrix along different columns is, for example, 0 from the first column plus 1 from the second column is 1 and 2 from the first column plus 3 of the second column is 5. So these values are from the first matrix. And the second matrix, in the second matrix, 4 from the first column plus 5 from the second column is 9, and 6 from the first column plus 7 from the second column is 13. So these values are from the second matrix. So axis equals to 2 means along different columns in each matrix. So in order to summarize, for a three-dimensional array, axis equals to zero means along different 2D arrays, I mean along different matrices. And axis equals to one means along different rows in each matrix. And also axis equals to two means along different columns in each matrix. So with induction, it can simply say that for a four-dimensional array, we have four possible values for axes. Axis equals to 0 means along different 3D arrays. Axis equals to 1 means along different 2D arrays. I mean along different matrices in each 3D array. And axis equals to 2 means along different rows in each matrix. And axis equals to 3 means along different columns in each matrix. And as you can see, these lines are exactly these lines. But, but because we have a 4D array, we have added this line as well. And for example, for a five-dimensional array, it has five possible values for the axis. Axis equals to zero means along different 4D arrays. Axis equals to one means along different 3D arrays in each 4D array. And axis equals to two means along different 2D arrays in each 3D array. And axis equals to three means along different rows in each, in each matrix. And axis equals to four means along different columns in each matrix. And as you can see, these lines are exactly these lines. And because we have a five dimensional array, we have added this as well. And as it is obvious, you can interpret higher dimensions with induction as well. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.